Hello, hello, and welcome back to this part 6. Today we will be hacking someone's computer. Pretty exciting, so let's hop right into it. Alright, so for this source code effect, the first thing that I did is I went to a site called hackertyper.net and it is completely safe. What the site does is if you like just hold enter or space or whatever, it will just start generating like a random source code text that you can use for whatever. So if we go up here, let's select the horizontal type tool, I'll just click on the screen and I already got mine. Uh, I already got mine, so I'm going to do Control V, and here's all my information. All right, so let me press S, and let's scale this down to maybe 30, so that we can get a better look at this. Let's move it to the middle, maybe 40, something like this. All right, so we immediately want to start talking about animating this in different ways, right? So our first thing, what we can do is we can maybe look at the look at the font that I use to make it look more like kind of like something from a computer. So I think the one that I use, let me look it up, is called Arcade Classic. I believe that's the one I used for my pack. So let's click on that. So you can just go to Google and just type font Arcade Classic downloads. You can just download these fonts for free and you can find the tutorial somewhere else on how to uh, implement it. That's a whole different story. So do make sure you select this and let's click on that. So now we get this. All right, so how are we gonna animate this? Let me go in here, scroll in the text. And let's go to animate and let's select opacity. So now what we can do is we can like maybe go to like two seconds and we want to set the opacity to zero. Let's go into the range selector and let's set a keyframe for the start. Let's drag it out to 100 and you already see what happened there. Now let's go to the start and let's set it to zero. And now we get this. Now we get this effect, you know, where it's like almost like something is typing it out. And if you think it's going too fast, you can just select the end keyframe and maybe go to like five. Maybe go over here. Now we get this. So that's one example. So now what else can we do? So another thing that I did is if I go to advanced, all I did was like select the randomized order and now we get this. Let me, let's preview this again. So now we get this effect as if everything is, you know, popping in, you know, separately. Like so. So all you have to do is go to advanced and just toggle the randomized order. I'm going to toggle it off for this. So now we close this. Scale this up. Let me just show you how I did the scroller effect. So let me move this in the middle. Let's move it slightly down. So all I did was like I would go right click here and I would go to new, solid, I'll call this matte. Okay. And let's select the rectangle tool. And let me also go here to the grid and let's select proportional grid. And I would use this outline right here to select a, a square like so, so on, in, the, in between this box. And now let's go to the mask, select mask pass. Let's select the selection tool. And let's select these dots and let's move them outwards like that. And now we select the mount and press F for feathering. And let's start feathering this a little bit. So now what we can do is we'll toggle switch modes and let's set this to alpha mat. And now our mat has disappeared, but as you can see, the, top, the, the bottom half is feathered now. So what we can do is we can go to the start, select our text and press P for position. And let's go to the start and let's set a position keyframe. And now we can maybe go to like all the way to the end 
six frames and let's start moving it upwards like that so now we get this that's pretty nice all right so another thing that i'm going to show you now is i'm going to select these two i'm going to layer pre-compose them and i'll call this source code one okay let me make a map really quickly oops source code let's move this in the comps let's open this up and let's move this in here so i'm going to select this and I'm going to control V and I'm going to duplicate it. All right, let's delete this here. And I'll double click on this second one. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this math. I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to select my uh, text. I'm going to press U to bring up the keyframes. And, I can, and I'm going to remove all the keyframes by clicking on the stopwatches. So let me press S. And let's scale this down and let's move it down here. And again, if you want this to be even bigger, what you could do is like you can select it, you know, you can go down here, you can press enter, you can just infinitely keep duplicating the same thing that you got, right? Just to make it longer, like that. So now what I want to show you is how I did the red bar effect where you have like this red bar like selecting everything. And it's kind of like easy because I first tried to find an expression for it, but I couldn't find anything. So I took a little bit of like a different approach. So I'll go to new solid and I'm going to make it red and I'll call this bar. And yeah, let's not do any track mat. And what I'm going to do is let me shut this off the eye for now. And let's select, keep the bar selected and I'm going to select the rectangle tool up here. And let me zoom in. Let's see which one is the furthest out and I think that's one. So now what I want to do is I want to go here. I want to drag out this square here. I'm trying to get as perfect as I can like so. And let's turn it back on. And now let's move it below the text so that we get this. So now I can press P for the bar, put the position. And now what I'm going to do every time is I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to constantly like leave like maybe eight frames and I'm going to set the keyframe so you can see nothing happens. And then let's move to one frame forward. So let's go to preview one frame and let's move it somewhere else. Now let's move it like maybe like down here. Let's try to line it up as much as we can, like that. And let's move it eight frames again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, a keyframe here. And then one keyframe, let's move one frame forward again. And now let's move it to another position. So like that. And you could do more, but when I, I'll just round it off for now. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight keyframe one frame forward and now I'm going to select the start keyframe and I'm going to do Control C and then Control V to paste it back up here and then again one two three four five six seven eight and I'll select this keyframe again Control C Control V so now we get this right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these keyframes I'm going to alt click the position and we'll go here, properties, loop out, there we go. So now we should get this. I think we can even delete these. Maybe this one, let's see what that does. And now we get this right, where it's like moving individually. And the re the, so it, we need like a static and then just one keyframe. So that immediately moves off because if we do this, like if there's like at least one more frame in between, we will see, you, you'll, we'll see it like kind of like slide over awkwardly. So constantly like eight frames of silence or maybe 
even longer and then immediately just jump or teleport to the next position and then we get this and we can like go here and we can pick whip it to the text so if we now scale our text you know it will just scale with it and even with the position So again, we can like animate this text the way we did before. We can go to um, animator, range selector, and we can like do again the start, like set it to zero. Maybe go to two seconds and then set it to a hundred. And then we can go to the bar and we can cut it off right where the text is almost finished. So now we get this. Yeah, there you have it. A rather short tutorial, but I hope you got something from it. Again, thank you very much for watching. Give the video a like and leave a comment in the comment section below about anything. Subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell, please. Check out all my social media links in the description below if you want to stay up to date for anything. And I will see you guys the next time.